I ended up losing 100 pounds, right? I started going to the gym, lost 100 pounds, right? It turns out it really was just baby fat. I didn't realize I had two giant babies attached to my back. But what a... So I was so motivated to help other people that I got a job as a personal trainer. Uh, I, I had this vision as a trainer to train ambitious teenagers going into the military and aspiring athletes who just want to play professional sports, grandparents who want to get healthy to play with their grandkids, and, and MILFs. I wanted to train MILFs to be surrounded by these hot, sexy, vivacious women living every boy's fantasy to be training hot, sweaty, agile cougars. It was the dream, right? But I realized something. Those MILFs never needed my help. The hot ones never came to me. The moms, the MILFs that I got were not moms I like to fornicate. <laughs> These were miserable, insatiably lonely females. <laughs> what I got were the deeply troubled, emotionally scarred, mentally abused, insecure, apprehensive, anxious, uneasy, unhappy, uptight, confused, schizophrenic, bipolar, the displeased, disconnected, disappointed, depressed, distressed, dissatisfied, desperate, diabetic, divorced, and middle-aged women needing constant reassurance with a giant mole on their face with a hair coming out of it. And that was my Monday morning client. <laughs> it's not part of the fantasy at all, which is why I do comedy now. <laughs> it makes sense that I do comedy because I come from a long line of really awful joke tellers. <laughs> uh, my mom is the only adult I know that can slaughter a knock-knock joke, but she's constantly trying to give me new material. She's like, sweetie, I heard the funniest thing today from Linda in church. <laughs> well, that I can't wait to hear. <laughs> because everyone knows the best jokes come from women's Bible study. <laughs> my, 